This is a demonstration on how to test the switch matrix column drives on a WPC89 MPU. So I've got this MPU hooked up to my power supply, my bench power supply. It's back there, it's an old computer power supply. I have my logic probe hooked up across the 5 volt filter cap on the CPU. So I'm going to boot the power, I'm going to boot the CPU. That's a normal boot sequence. See, I've got a Twilight Zone 9.4H game ROM in here. And we're going to use our logic probe to test the output of each of the pins. There's a good pin that is pulsing the column drive correctly. However, this one's stuck high. Another one's stuck high. This one's working properly. Properly. Stuck high. Properly and stuck high again. So I've already replaced the ULN 2803 here. Nice socket and the chip replaced. And uh, the original one you can see there showed visible signs of damage. So we've got to backtrack through the game a little bit further to see where the failure is. So I've analyzed the schematics and I can tell that U14 here, which is a 74 LS374, is not operating correctly. Here's one of the columns that's not working correctly, and you can see that pin is stuck low. This pin should be pulsing, and similar to this one here, this is a working column. So what we're going to do is pull this LS374 out, and that'll get this board back in the game again.